Hey guys, it's me Shane, and I'm here to give you a video game review. And today, I will be reviewing Marvel's Avengers. This game came out September 4th. It's been about a good, well, according to the calendar, it's been a good uh, almost 10 days or so. I've sat down, I've been able to finish the story, I've been able to play some by myself, and I've also been able to play with some people during the multiplayer. So, there will be some moderate spoilers for this, but as always, I do everything out of five, and I'm going to go ahead and just tell you I'm going, going to go through the story. I'm going to go through the look, which is the, you know, the design and how the graphics look. I'm going to go through gameplay, which includes uh, performance and how the game feels, and I'm also going to go through a general wrap-up of my feelings. So... Let's just hop right into this. Um, I played the beta for this game. Uh, pretty fun, pretty interesting. I have to, I have to say, uh, it touched the beta touched on the story. And the basic overall story is there's a giant hover uh, helicarrier that's supposed to be going in the air that's using the Terragenesis, uh, Terragenesis rocks. You know them from the Inhuman scene. If you know anything about Inhumans. Not aim, but Taskmaster and his crew attack during a celebration of this. And during the celebration, of course, Kamala Khan is there. So you know where this is heading. Uh, Taskmaster attacks. They are trying to. I don't know. It, it appears that they're they're trying to destroy everything, or they're trying to bring down the helicarrier, steal it. Uh, inside, the person George Tarleton, who becomes Modok, he is there. Cap is there. And we are led throughout this journey to find out what actually happened on A Day, to find out why the uh, AIM is trying to abduct Inhumans, because the the full story takes place. I want to say it's not months, but I think it might be three years. Three years after everything's happened, and um, yeah, uh, you get the story beats basically from the beta, but getting the full game you're able to go through and see each and every well you see each and every character's uh point of view you are given time to spend time as these characters the most the characters you're going to spend the most time as is hulk and uh kamala khan miss marvel and uh story wasn't bad it it kind of raised a lot of questions for me <clears throat> because uh, the game, the game I expected to be like Ultimate Alliance and Ultimate Alliance Two, which was an amalgamation from the Ultimates comic books, and it basically was telling the story about you know how the heroes all together and then the villains are getting together and you got to stop them. This one is more focused and driven. You can tell that it's kind of rooted a bit in the uh, MCU, the cinematic universe. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, it I, it appears that the characters have done stuff already for people to hail the Avengers. So, people know these Avengers. You know these Avengers if you're just a movie goer. If you're a comic book goer, you know who these characters are. Uh, the one thing I have to uh, kind of frown at in the story is it, it, feels, it feels less like the Inhuman stories that we know because... As we know, the humans, they were created by Celestials, of course. They started on the moon. They had the kingdom with Black Bolt and Medusa. And then they came down to Earth. And then uh, recently with the Avengers versus, not Avengers, but the uh, X-Men versus Inhumans, you know, Terra Genesis was the spread throughout the world, which is how we ended up with Kamala Khan. Who, Kamala, Kamala throughout this entire story, she's... She's enjoyable, even though it feels like she's taking the place of like a Spider-Man character. She's very enjoyable. Um, I guess I guess I'll put in what story I'll put in with voice acting. Uh, voice acting's great. The issues I have with well, I'll touch on voice acting. The issue I have with voice acting, no one love doesn't feel like Tony Stark to me. He feels like he feels like as if. He's being Deadpool. No one North is known for being Deadpool, and I'm not trying to put him in a box, but the jokes and the delivery isn't a Tony Stark. It's not like the Tony Stark from NBC 
or Earth Mightiest Heroes, which is the same voice actor, or even the MVCI, same voice actor. Delivery is great. I've heard other people play Iron Man within the uh, Marvel animes. You know, the Marvel anime Punisher with Black Widow. That guy who plays Iron Man sounds like Iron Man to me. But that's just me. Even the Technivore. I, I watch that in English as well. I own that somewhere. That guy sounds like Iron Man. The story honestly feels like... Kind of feels like this is supposed to be X-Men. You know, I can I, I fully can tell that this game was made or conceived about maybe two, two and a half years ago before the Fox deal went through. And this is when they were doing their big Inhuman push. And of course, the Inhumans movie and show that fell completely through. But Kamala Khan, who knows, maybe, maybe in the MCU she'll be retconned as a mutant. Don't know. But you can you can obviously tell. And I'm interested in seeing how they're going to keep this story going because they plan. This is going to be a, a service game. They plan on continuing uh, this game story through updates and you know things of that nature. Uh, overall, the story was okay. The story wasn't bad. The story was fine. I just I have a lot of questions. A lot of setups they did was interesting. I do enjoy seeing. Uh, Tarleton turned into Modoc, and I do enjoy seeing the Avengers come back together. Voice acting again, it was okay, just not for Tony Stark. The uh, the look, so we'll go into the design. The character's designs are okay. I don't feel like Hulk could have been as green as he could have been, he was really dull, and again, that's attributed to them making them look like the MCU. They are trying to say, hey, this is them, but it's not them because we can't pay for the likeliness. But hey, these are the guys that you know. You watch the movies? Fine. That's all you need to watch. You know these characters. Um, Miss Marvel slowly coming into having her own costume. There's a point in the game where Tony Stark makes everyone more badass costumes, which is pretty cool. His armors were great. He changed armors like four times, and that's 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 on brand with him. Uh, Cap's outfit, he starts off in a stealth suit. Well, in the beginning of the story, he starts off with this very horrible, bad cosplay looking costume. But later on in the story, he has this amazing looking stealth suit. It looks like the Winter Soldier stealth suit from the movie. And to me, that's the best uh, MCU outfit Cap has had. Period. So I was okay with that. But Thor looked great as well. Black Widow looked like Black Widow. Um, just Hulk wasn't as green as he could have been. Uh, sporting a nice little beard after all these years. <clears throat> Who else am I missing? Uh, I think that's that's all of them. The, you know, and the design for the AIM robots, the AIM soldiers. The AIM soldiers look just like how they do in the combos because they have these little square heads that are basically hazmat suits. They look great. Uh, I, I the the city the uh, not the cityscapes but the uh, sets and areas that you go to. They look great as well. Graphics are on point. I have a basic PS4. Well, I have the Black Ops 3 edition, but it's not a PlayStation Pro. It's a basic PS4. It's pretty good. The graphics look pretty, pretty amazing. Nothing bad I can say about them. Uh, not much I can say bad about the designs either. Gameplay. I'm going to talk about how it feels first, and then I'll talk about some performances. Um... Overplaying more, I got more used to how uh, the flying felt because when I played the beta, it was kind of awkward with how Thor and Iron Man flew. But as I kept playing the game, it became a little bit more natural. That's probably what you have to do is play the game more. Um, the see, I've heard some people say the best parts are with Cap and Black Widow, but then I have a friend who enjoys playing as Kamala Khan and Hulk. Personally, I enjoy playing as uh, Cap, Iron Man, and Thor. They feel fun. They are fun. There's, this game played exactly how I expected it to feel, which is like an upgraded version of the Ultimate Alliance games, which you've heard me say over and over again. Honestly, I encourage people to play this game and to get a feel for it, even if you're just going to play the beta. Just play it and get a feel for it and see how you enjoy and which characters you enjoy playing as. 
because they all feel fine. It's just you're going to find a character that fits your preference. Now for the bugs. Of all the people I talked to who play this game, I have had the most performance issues. I have had audio desyncs where the things they're saying doesn't match up with the subtitles, the captions. I have the captions on there. Another bad thing is when you just want subtitles, it goes into full caption. It tells you their actions. That makes no sense to me. I can see what they're doing. I just want to hear. I want to be able to know everything that they're saying. Another issue I came across was when you, uh, excuse me, when you attack these glowing boxes to collect items and materials, it'll show up on the right hand side of your screen. Sometimes I didn't get that at all. And actually, I, I got that once during multiplayer play. It was like, I know I'm gathering these things, but I can't see what I'm getting. <laughs> Hope it's good stuff. Um, I got into a part, and this isn't really a spoiler because you're not you're not even going to know what happens after this, but it's the part with uh, Cap, and you get three other heroes with you. And the mission is you got to take out five guys. So I'm going down to take out these five guys. And... This is on, for, on my first try. It's really fun. I'm doing the dang thing. But then the indicator shows me that one of the guys is in the Hudson River. And I'm like, okay, maybe he ran. So I ran all the way to the point where it said he was. There's no amount of land. I'm thinking it's like Lego, like Lego Avengers, like Lego Marvel. Maybe there's another point over there. I jump into the river. You instantly die and you get hell knocked off. So I sat there for a good 30 seconds. I said, I'm going to have to restart this level, which thank goodness there are, they, they periodically auto save and there are checkpoints. You can just restart your last checkpoint. I didn't mind killing those things all over again, but apparently they were supposed to be much harder and I had a much harder time. I have had instance of rubber banding where characters like catch up and go too far away. Characters are launched into the air. Just all sorts of craziness. Uh, did it impede my fun? Not really. Did it annoy me? Hell yes, it did. It, it it was an annoyance. And the fact that I had it the worst, I, I've seen people stream it and I didn't see them have issues. Again, my uh, my close friend that, did, that was playing it, he has the digital version. Obviously, this is the disc version that I have. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I know the day one, there was an instant patch for the game. And I know they're constantly patching to adjust and, and fix some of these bug issues. But wow. 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 So, wrap up. This, might, this will give you a little wrap up here. Uh, I got my game at GameStop. I originally was going to get $15 off, which would have made this a $45 game. Through GameStop being GameStop and no no fault of the person working there, it's just GameStop's infrastructure with getting your rewards and everything suck. So I only got uh, $10 off, making it a $50 game. My close friend had enough points that he was basically able to pay... I want to say only $25 for it. This game is fun. I enjoy the story. I enjoy playing it by myself. And I, I really, really like it when I play with my friends. If you get this game and play, make sure you play with the group that goes after each mission objective. Because your stars matter. If you, uh, if you get knocked down too much, if you don't collect all the objectives, you get a lower rating, you get lower things. It's, it is literally... A Destiny esque version of a Marvel game, and I keep telling, I keep saying this Ultimate Alliance. I I expect it to be you have four characters with you in the group at a time. You control one if you're playing by yourself. The other three are characters that you have trained yourself and worked on, or the other three are random people or their friends. Um, thing I should have put in the gameplay is the online. I get a very smooth connection one my first time uh, connecting with my buddy after I was done. It was instant. It was instant. It was smooth. There was no issues. There's no hookups. There's no desyncing on that end. Just all the bugs that I <laughs> that I came across, which was that was it. Uh, the the beta does not do this game justice, which is 
kind of a shame because that's the thing that's supposed to bring you in. But they did save a lot of the good parts, and that's okay too. It's it, it was an enjoyable game. But the game is not worth sixty dollars. And people probably went out and bought the deluxe edition, which was seventy to eighty dollars, and you got extra costumes. And then the 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 special edition that came with the cap, a cap statue, a little Hulk bobblehead, and some other knickknacks. I do like collector's editions like that myself. But this wasn't a game I was super hyped on. I was I wanted to play this game. I the the characters that I know that are coming for this game. You know, you got Spider Man for the PlayStation version. Hawkeye's coming pretty soon. Kate Bishop is coming soon. I like these characters. I want to play as these characters. I enjoy the Destiny S gameplay. This game is not worth sixty dollars. It's, it's worth about forty five to forty dollars in my opinion. If you're gonna get it, I say wait until November. Wait until Black Friday deals. Wait until Cyber Monday deal. If there's a way that you have extra points somewhere, whether it's at Best Buy, GameStop, or if you shop through Sony so much that you got points. Get it that way. Fun game, but it's not worth $60. Out of five, I got to give this game, sadly, a 3.5. It's it's average, but that's not a bad thing. This could have been much worse. I've played much buggier games. I've played, <laughs> I've played Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which I've had the entire, which just like this game, I've had the entire sound effect go off and all I hear is the background. There's a point in this game where the characters are talking, I hear nothing but this background. But with Street Fighter Cross Tekken, it was much worse because then, after my match was done, I heard all the sound effects at one time. <sighs> uh, it was another really buggy game that I've played. I've played games where my characters have just walked off the side of the earth and fallen. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies on Xbox 360, that has happened to me. Uh, several, I'm talking about Destiny so much, I think Destiny 1, I've had bugs where I've been stuck in a room and I couldn't get out while my partner was already continuing the mission, so I'm just sitting there, you know, twiddling my thumbs. Again, not the worst game I played, not the best game I played, it's just average. But if you've played this game, tell me what do you think, what did you like about this game? You like the story? You like how it looks? Do you like how it plays? I enjoy all these things. They're just not super amazing. I do recommend playing Spider-Man for PS4. Or if you have a PS4 and get a PS5, you should play the Miles Morales Spider-Man game when that comes out. It's going to be $40 if you buy the standard. <clears throat> not a spokesman. Just saying. My recommendation. So, again, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified of more videos like this. I always make them every Thursday. We got Digimon reviews every Sunday. Share the video. Show everybody how great these are. We're moving up in the world, guys. So again, thank you for showing up. Thank you for listening. Be good. Be blessed. Wear a mask. Black Lives Matter. And I'll talk to you next time.